This is the mother of all rocks. But if you use my superhuman strength, I get this baby up. There's gonna be hell bitter on the Jeff and I team up. It's taking all our strength to lift this rock. But it pays off. We got one! Oh man! This is my first hellbender. Oh man, that is incredible. Look how fleshy these things are. Look at all these folds of skin. They use these folds of skin, I mean, to take in oxygen, mm -hmm. increase surface area, and more. I bet those things just flutter in the currents. Yeah, they'll just sit there and they'll just wave back and forth. And they have lungs, but they don't really use their mm -hmm. lungs for breathing. Not very often. It's just all through their skin or through the lining of their throat. Yeah, all through the skin, especially down this line right here. That's the hellbender skirt, and it's all gooey flesh in the skin. Under these folds and along its body, legs, and in the lining of its mouth are thousands of capillaries that pull oxygen from the water. This breathing network is so efficient that the hellbender never leaves the water. It uses its lungs not to breathe, but to stay buoyant. In fact, hellbenders can live even if their lungs are surgically removed. They look ugly to you. That is beautiful to me. My first hellbender. I'm curious, why in the world? The story is in the Appalachians, when people first saw this animal, they're kind of swimming in the river. A lot of times their bodies are bent, uh -huh. and they look like they belong in the infernal bent. regions of hell. Yeah. But I got to admit, I love that name, Hellbender. <laughs> I may name my next child Hellbender. Hellbender Bar. It's got a nice sound to it, right? Jeff's brought his lab to the field. He's been tracking Hellbenders for years. And lately, he's finding them with open sores, mutilated limbs, and even missing bones. What's killing them is still a mystery. But the culprit could be pollution. Like all amphibians, salamanders are especially vulnerable to pollutants because their thin, permeable skin absorbs toxins easily. It makes them an early alarm system signaling that something's wrong with the environment. Yes, in this river I found a few Luckily this one's fall. still healthy and can be returned to the river. Let me stick her back in there for just a second. But not before I perform the taste test. All right. Mr. Hellbender, for some reason I'm a little reluctant to put the tongue on the hellbender. But in the name of science, I guess that's something I need to do. So. Oh. <coughs> that's bad. Man, oh man. I'm not doing that again. That is bad. That's some toxic stuff there. Woo, man. I can't even think of anything to relate it to. That's that, that may be the most foul taste I've ever experienced. When it comes to noxious slime, the hellbender's gotta be king. 